Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGuard YouTube channel. Got a really interesting light to review today. It's by a German company, a really innovative company called Flower Power, and it's their first light to the market called the Flower One. And it's got lots of really cool and interesting features. They've got a very innovative controller, lots of functionality. It's got very interesting cooling method, combined sort of odor extraction. Uh, combined into the unit. Really interesting to see how this works out and what you guys think of it. So let's have a closer look. There are lots of innovative features with this light, starting off with the, the LEDs themselves. So you've got four luminous horticultural cobs. These are uh, generating a total output of around 300 watts. They've got 90 degree glass lenses on them and are mounted onto the um, heatsink here. This heatsink has a sensor at the temperature sensor in the center of the heatsink, which is wired back to the controller. And this controller detects the temperature of this heatsink and will adjust the cooling fan, which is mounted internally in this enclosure over the top here, and will draw, increase the draw of air through the light to um, provide additional cooling for the LEDs if they, if they get too hot. In addition, on the controller, in this sort of casing, you've got an on-off switch, we have a full dimming control of the LEDs. There is a override switch here, which if you have, are getting odor problems or you want to maximize the um, odor control, you flick this switch and the fan will go up to its maximum speed and pull the maximum amount of air through. There's also a integrated timer control and that timer control controls the on and off of the light, as well as this additional um, socket here. So you could have, for example, your circulation fan um, in the tent control from this as well, and it'll be on the same timing as the light circuit. Internally then in the light, you can add this uh, bespoke carbon filter. It takes about three and a half kilos of carbon in here. And that slots into this space and the airflow then, when it's drawn in to cool the light, will also simultaneously be drawn through the carbon filter. will scrub the air of odor and extract it out the back end here. So the Flower Power Flower One is so called because it's rated for an area one meter by one meter or three and a half foot by three and a half foot. It can be applied to an, an area, grow area from 0 0.8 meters by 0 0.8 meters all the way up to 1.2 by 1.2. But I set it up and tested it in its uh, specified area of one meter by one meter. Because of the lenses, the lens configuration, so four cobs grouped relatively close together and focused downwards uh, fairly narrowly, I had to raise the light quite high. I found the optimum hanging height, and that is where the maximum center measurement was around a thousand micromoles. I found the optimum hanging height was 60 centimeters or two foot from the um, plant canopy or test area. So I took measurements with the quantum sensor, the Apogee SQ500 in a grid across the whole grow area to determine the light spread and output. The average power intensity was 588 micromoles per meter square per second, which is a very good level. And this has been a really fascinating light to test and review. I was very impressed with the, the build quality of, of the light, the quality of the, the features and how well they worked. The company Flower Power is new to the market and it'd be great if you could give them some support. The link to their website is in the description below. It's got a really beautiful website, lovely graphics and lots of useful information. You can delve a little bit further into the features of this light. And uh, yeah, I wish them the best of luck. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sure you got some interesting thoughts about the, um, these features and this, this um, light format in particular. We're really interested to hear what you think. Please let us know in the comments section and uh, we'll get back to you and uh, try and answer your queries. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Best of luck, take care.